Good evening. Good evening. For, for a lot of you, it is the second, some of you, the third time I've seen you in 2023. But if this is the first time, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you for coming out for MJC Monday Jazz. Um, I'm Rick Katz, as most of you know, the executive director of the Miami Jazz Cooperative. We are here tonight. By the way, if you haven't looked at our website, we now have a counter. And tonight is our 633rd event since the MJC was founded in 2010. 633. Um, we're, we're really proud of that. Um, and uh, I just want to give you a glimpse into a couple of things that are coming up. Next week is going to be a very unusual Monday for us. It's going to be a pretty spectacular Monday. We're expecting probably as close to a full house as we can get here. Um, we are partnering with our sister organization, Sunshine Jazz Organization, to do a celebration of the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And the very gifted Nicole Yarling has taken on the role of artistic director for next week. And we've got an incredible cast of musicians who will be here to read some of Martin Luther King's essays. Nicole Henry will be here reading. Um, we're going to have poetry and we're going to have music of a number of different genres, all oriented towards celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King and the Civil Rights Movement. We have a special flyer for it on the table. Please take it on your way out. We encourage you to come and bring people. Um, we just couldn't think of a more appropriate thing to do on Martin Luther King Day next Monday than to do a special tribute. And we think we've got a great, great program. We encourage you to come out. Two weeks from tonight, um, if you were here last week for the Negroni Trio, you had the added treat of Felipe Lamoglia, who Frank Consola says is the Latin John Coltrane. Felipe Lamoglia will be, will be featured two weeks from tonight. And then we've got our dear friends, uh, the Brazilian duo, actually performing as a quartet. Rose Max and Ramatisse will be here uh, on the last Monday of the month. And then we'll start looking towards uh, February, which is going to be a great lineup then, too. Tonight, we've got a really special treat because it's not that often here at the UU that we have an opportunity to bring you uh, a non-South Florida artist. And we have that tonight, although it is clearly someone with deep roots here. Um, Marco Marcinko went to the University of Miami, I think before it was Frost, am I, am I right? Before it was the Frost School of Music. Um, uh, he studied with Gary Keller, um, uh, studied I think with Larry Lappin who is sitting here. Um, he performed with Ira Sullivan who we're grateful for because Ira is the one who initiated jazz to this venue. Uh, since then, I'm not sure the exact sequence, but I know that he toured for a long time with the legendary Maynard Ferguson. He has been, for a long time, director of the jazz program at Penn State University, which we like except when they're playing us on the football field. And he is still currently touring with Dave Liebman's big band and has been doing that for a couple of decades. How is that for pedigree? And he sort of had to scrape the bottom of the barrel uh, coming here to Miami. Um, and this is really an incredible all-star lineup. Chuck Bergeron on bass was one of the founding directors of the Miami Jazz Cooperative. <laughs> Gary Keller, a founding director of the Miami Jazz Cooperative and still on the board of directors. And Jim Gazier, who is, has been on the board of directors for five, six, seven years, something like that, of the Miami Jazz Cooperative. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Marco Marcinko Quartet.
you. Thank you all. Thank you so much. The great Gary Keller on saxophone. Mr. Jim Gazier on the piano. Chuck Bergeron on bass. And it's nice to be back in my uh, second hometown. Uh, I played some gigs at this church, actually, way back when Steve Bagley was still with us and Ira was around. And so I know this zone quite well. And going to the University of Miami, and Jim and I were in classes together, and Gary was our teacher, and Larry was our teacher, and some great stuff. And it's just a joy to be here and to see all these wonderful faces. So we'll see you on the break, get a chance to talk a little bit. That tune we just played was United by Wayne Shorter. And that's a tune that I think is very important during these uh, critical times. We should all be more united and spreading the love and the joy of this music. And we opened the set with I'll Be Seeing You. And that was a Gary Keller call because he learned, the, he learned the words to that song. And he said, I'd like to try to play this. And we did it. And I thought it was awesome. So we're going we're gonna to change it up now. And uh, we're going to play a uh, Antonio Carlos Jobim tune for you. And... Uh, give you that uh, bossa nova samba feel.
uh, Felicidad. Gary Keller on the flute. We want to do a beautiful ballad for you, and um, we want to dedicate this to someone who was very important to this community for so long, just passed away, and that's the great Don Kaufman. You can put your hands together for him. And again, Don was one of Jim's and my teacher and so many wonderful musicians that came through the University of Miami system over the years, but he was a big, uh, he was a, a big force on the low end, Chuck, in this community in Miami. And um, I didn't realize until I started reading more about him in the obituaries how far back his roots go in this area. So in honor of the great Don Kaufman, we're gonna play Prelude to a Kiss.
We're going to close the set with a uh, Ronnie Miller composition. And a great composer, pianist Ron Miller, has a great library of works. And this is just one little tidbit. This is called Blues for ONA. And then we want to thank Rick Katz, and we want to thank everyone here at the uh, Miami Jazz Cooperative for being here and for doing this on every single Monday, right, Gary? Every single Monday, just about. Just about. So uh, we're very appreciative. I'm appreciative for being here. I'm happy to see everyone. We'll take a 15-minute pause and then come back with some more music. One more time, Gary Keller. Yeah. Chuck Bergeron. Jim Gazer. Yours truly, Marco Marcinko. Thank you. Blues for ONA. Oh, blues for old, new age. And Gary, of course, that age is referring to you because Jim and I are much younger. Chuck's in the middle, right, Chuck?
Marco Marcinko on the drums. Chuck Bergeron on bass. Gary Keller on reeds. Jim Gager on piano. So, if this music isn't enough reason to stick around 15 minutes for the second set, I'll tease you with a little secret. Uh, the great Wendy Peterson is going to be here to sing a tune with them next set. Stick around, everybody. Thanks. Oh, and we've got Marco's CDs at the table. Um, so, we're here. It's January 9th. There are approximately 315 shopping days. Um, excuse me, 300... Whatever it is. A bunch of shopping days before Christmas. Now, think about how frazzled you're going to be next December Think of all these people on your list and you've got to go out and fight the crowds and everything. Buy a dozen of Marco's CDs now. You put them in the closet and then next December you wrap them up and you've got them for all these people. And I promise you that you'll be the only one to give them a Marco Marcinko CD for their Christmas gift. Buy a dozen tonight. Um, Marco hasn't authorized me to say this, but buy 10, we'll give you one free. Right, Marco? Yes. <laughs> anyway, see you in a few minutes for the second set. Thanks, everybody. If we can ask you to take your seats, we're about ready to go to the second set. Once again, Jim Gazier, Chuck Bergeron, Gary Keller, and Marco Marcinko, the Marco Marcinko Quartet.
That was uh, Chuck's arrangement of, of course, Love for Sale. Chuck Bergeron's responsible for that. This one's by Jim Gazier, an original tune called Strolling with Horace, a little uh, homage to Horace Silver, I would think. Yes? Or is it Horace someone else that I don't know? <laughs> Horace Silver, Jim? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, Strolling with Horace.
Jim Gazer tune. Well, we have a special guest in the house. Rick announced her earlier, and I'm happy to announce her now. And we're going to bring up the wonderful vocal stylings and the beautiful Miss Wendy Peterson. <laughs> I feel like I have to be stylish. When you say vocal stylings, it's like vocal stylings. Now I have to. You do you, Will. Well, uh, we're going to do a tune that uh, I first heard the late great Doris Day sing, and it's uh, nobody had a sweeter voice than her. And then a couple years later, I heard uh, Carmen McRae do it, and she did it a whole lot different. So I'm going to try to work in a little bit of each. Okay, so let's. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with my Doris. Yes, please. Once I had a secret love that lived within the heart of me. All too soon. My secret love became impatient to be free. So I told a friendly star the way that dreamers are. How wonderful you are And why I'm 
so in love with you. Once I had a secret love that live within the heart of me Oh, too soon this secret love Became impatient to be free So I told a friendly star The way that dreamers often do Just how wonderful you are And why I'm so in love with you Now I shine it from the heart I even told the golden death for deal. Now my heart's an open door And my secret love's no secret anymore Said once I had a secret love That lived within the heart of me Hope to soon my secret love Oh, 
Wendy. Marco. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Well, we're going to change it up now. We're going to do an original by Chuck. This is a beautiful 3-4 uh, waltz. It's called The Order of St. George. Now, Chuck, I have a question for you. What's behind this title? Oh, I never read it. It's from War and Peace. It was the one book I decided not to read. Good choice. There you go. <laughs> okay. Enjoy.
the Order of St. George, Chuck Bergeron on bass. Jim Gazer on the piano. Gary Keller on the saxophone, the flute. We thank you for listening. We're gonna do, can we maybe do two more? Do one more of Jim's and then close with the, uh, the antics, the circus antics that we uh, didn't rehearse. That'll be fun. Um, yeah, just like we rehearsed it. On the break, I saw the great J.B. Floyd, and I want to make sure that I acknowledge this great artist, this great man. He was at U University of Miami teaching for many, many years, and what an honor to have him in the audience, J.B. Floyd back there. Put your hands together for him. Is he still here? All right. We weren't that good. I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't know he was here. I would have been so nervous. He liked what you did. He liked what you did. There was another gentleman that I saw that was a, a fine saxophone player. Great, a great theorist, harmony person, and incredible athlete. This guy could swim miles and miles and miles. And that's the great Gary Campbell. He's here. Hey, Gary. Oh, he did? Oh, okay. oh well. <laughs> Gary, I told you, get them drunk during the break so they would stick around. Well, this one is called, it's a Jim Gazer tune, it's called The Foster Rag, and it's named after the Foster Building, which is on the campus of the University of Miami over at the Frost School of Music. And uh, great composition by Jim Gazer. Check it out. It's really cool.
Thank you. Well, we're going to say good night, and um, real joy to be here once again, this wonderful place that uh, on Ira Sullivan Way. Put your hands together for Ira. And uh, I want to tell you, I want to remember uh, my drum teacher, Steve Bagby. I have his symbol here that lives at Gary Keller's house. And to play on this tonight and think about Steve was really, really, really cool. So thank you, Gary, for that. Thank you. And I want to thank Linda Keller for being here, the great Linda Keller, Gary's wife. Yeah, a chance. Dave Drubin. And one more time, Larry Lappin. <laughs> Got to acknowledge the cats, man. Larry said to me when I was very young, he said, man, don't forget, you got to acknowledge the cats. So I always acknowledge the cats in the room. So... All you that are here, thank you for being here, and we're going to say goodbye with a felonious monk tune called Rhythm Ning. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs>
Marco Marcinko Quartet. Jim Gazier, Chuck Bergeron, Gary Keller, Marco Masenko.